This is our mini line following robot PCB. In today's video, we'll go through the assembly process for our mini line following robot series. Let's get started. We begin by assembling the SMD components. First, we apply solder paste to the SMD footprints on the PCB. After that, we place a 10 kilo ohm resistor. followed by a 330 ohm resistor. Finally, we add the capacitor to the PCB. Once all the components are in place, we heat the board with a hot air gun to ensure proper soldering. The result is a clean PCB with well-soldered joints. Next, we install the TB6612 FNG motor driver IC on the PCB. This IC is critical for controlling the motors of our robot. Now, we have the RPR220 sensor, which is used to help our robot detect lines. Let's complete the sensor soldering process. This part is crucial, so we prioritize it to save time during assembly. Moving forward, we place two 16 volt, 1000 microfarad capacitors on the PCB. After finishing the soldering of these components, we add the voltage regulator IC, the 7805, which will provide a steady 5 volt supply for the circuit. We use a female header pin to mount the Arduino Nano onto the board, allowing for easy installation and removal. To control the robot, we add a push button, and we also install a switch to manage the power for the PCB. Finally, we attach the motors and wheels to the robot. Currently, I don't have a mini ball caster, so for now, I'm using a push button at the front as a temporary solution. With that, the assembly is complete. Our mini line following robot PCB is ready for the next step. Stay tuned for more in this series as we move forward with testing and final adjustments.